Thank you so much for coming on the show. <laughs> Thank you. This is wild. Uh, hopefully, hopefully my voice will like drop after a <laughs> no, little no. bit. It's so no, I love that you're <laughs> excited. It's great. Dude, at 24 years old, you've already written a New York Times best-selling book. How's that feel? <laughs> People, a lot of times, they focus on the age, and I'm like, you yeah. know, I'm Nigerian. So uh, that means every day I'm not a doctor is like a failure to my parents. <laughs> so I kind of have oh, to yeah. amp it up a little <laughs> like bit. An author was not I'd be one like, big. I promise, it's a big book. I promise. You'll love <laughs> it's it. It's a lot of pages. So. Yeah, everyone should be proud. It's a lot of, yeah. Uh, I, I, how exciting is it to be? Because I just heard somewhere that they said that this is going to be made into a movie now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, what's. what's What's more exciting to me? Well, well, explain this to me. Walk me through this. I mean, because I saw some video of you, I think, seeing your first, holding your first ever physical yeah. book. It was re like the whole thing has been this really, really crazy roller coaster. Yeah. And every time I think I've hit the peak, I'm like, oh, nothing crazier is going to happen. Something like this happens. And I'm like, oh, okay. So now I kind of have no. I expect I was like, just go with what just comes because you don't happening. know. But even, especially with the movie, like I love movies. Yeah, me too. And I, <laughs> a lot of us do. You know, yeah, like well, one yeah. Of the, the one person You're in America who loves, who loves movies. movies. Wow. <laughs> and for me, I was just like, I didn't believe it was gonna. I took like a year for me to be like, okay, they're not lying. Like I kept, I had this theory that Ashton Kutcher was reviving punk, <laughs> but like instead of targeting it, celebrities, no. he was gonna target regular people with their dreams and then take them away. Oh no, 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 <laughs> so. no. <laughs> no, no, no. This is going. This is really uh, going to be Children of Blood and Bone. Will be a movie. Uh, I, I, how did you? I, I wouldn't even know where to begin because this. It, it's a whole fantasy world. But what is it? It's based off of a couple things, right? Yeah, for me, it started. Um, I was in a gift shop in Brazil, and I was just there because my hair, like, I couldn't get it wet, and it was raining. So I was like, okay, look around, look interested, look like you're gonna get something. And I have big eyes, so I can fake that. So I was just like, okay, okay. <laughs> and then I saw the picture of the Orisha for the first time, and I was like, it was like African gods and goddesses, and for, that's what I thought it was. And I'd never seen anything like that. Like, my imagination had never gone as far as to. Think that there could be like black gods and goddesses. So instantly I saw the world, I saw the giant lions and the jungles, I saw the magic, but I didn't have the story until like eight months later. I was scrolling through Pinterest and I saw this like, magical black girl with green hair and I was so captivated. I remember I went into work and I was showing everyone, I was like, look at this. And they're like, oh, did you draw it? And I'm like, no. And they're like, do you? <laughs> yeah. I was like, do you know who drew it? I was like, no. And they're like, Okay, get back to work. And I'm like, how can anyone work? Like, look at well, this. Look at this. Yeah. And yeah, it was just imagining that I couldn't get it out of my head. And, and I'm then like, you, got, you found the story? Yeah, that I thought about her and I'm like, okay, what if she was a fisherman or like a fisherman's daughter? And what if she had to go into the market to trade one day? And what if this girl ran up to her and was like, you gotta get me out of here? So it just started with this daydream and I realized that that story fit in this world and it really just exploded from there. Because man, oh man, down to the detail of these just, all these characters, everything, it was such a fun read. I loved it so much and I was like, oh yeah, she's trying to bring magic back to this world. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, because it's, I wanted it to be this epic adventure. So a lot of times people are like, what is it? I'm like, basically think Black Panther with magic. Like it's a girl fighting to bring magic back to her people. But I also wanted to write about what was happening today. And so even though, you know, it's sort of like Inception, like the first layer is this epic story. Yeah. But on the second layer, there's this allegory for the modern black experience. So I call it like cake with asparagus because you're eating good cake, but you're learning real things and you're learning how it like feels to live through what we're living through today. So yeah, I, yeah. I, I got I got that as I was reading, but then at the end of the book, you write the whole thing of how yeah. there's a lot of tears uh, uh, that you shed while writing this book. But man, there's twists and turns, and you never know what's happening. Uh, I loved it so much, and I have uh, two little girls. Yeah. And uh, it's always good to have a book that they can read and go like, oh, I can be that, or you know, it's yeah, a great. Uh, it's so real. Like for me, and I think like I joke about having to become a doctor, but I think another part of it was. I never saw authors who looked like me. I didn't see characters who looked like me. And so I actually, for like, I spent like a decade in my room alone writing stories, but there were no black characters because I didn't think black people could be in books. So what really excites me about this and all the other awesome stories that are coming out right now is it's like we're all kind of fighting for the little versions of ourselves. Yeah. So it could be like, hey, 
little nerd told me, like, write that dragon, but you can write it. Like, you know, <laughs> you don't have to take yourself out of the adventure. So I'm, I'm excited that this is doing that for other writers, but just for all types of people who aren't used to seeing themselves. Oh, I can't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> We're big fans. We love you, pal. I'm going to see you later. <laughs> Tomi Adeyemi, everybody. <laughs> Superstar. Check out Children of Blood and Bone, available now. On and on and on, uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.